Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna do a Uranium Daily Technical Analysis Update. I'll give you what my opinion is in the beginning of this one, since we have a lot of new subscribers, I wanted to touch on the market balance of Uranium. I also wanted to touch on the Uranium to gold ratio. Uh, I'm gonna show you how ridiculous this stuff is priced. It is insanely, it's insanely cheap. Uh, it's one of my favorite sectors. And we're going to look at the weekly and daily candlesticks of some of these companies to give you a better picture of what I'm seeing uh, on these. So let's jump in here. Uh, I'll give you my financial opinion. It's only my financial opinion. Please don't use it as advice. And here's a pound of, of uranium and gold grams. Tell me that doesn't look amazing. We've got a, a downtrend line that's broken. It's starting to turn back up. Another thing that when you're looking at these charts, what you want to look at is the movement downward. We're not making new lows. This stopped and went sideways for a while, and now we're starting to, to move on up while breaking this downtrend line. This has a lot of valuation runway ahead of it if it's going to get anywhere near this last peak. So I would be looking at this sector quite, uh, quite I would focus on the sector I would look at it and, and, and take it into consideration given where the valuations are now the market balance here this is the uranium supply demand balance to, to 2035 this is your minus 100 pounds which is you, you're in a deficit when you're below zero and you're in a surplus when you're above zero what we're looking at are the the, the bars is that that surplus and deficit. We had a deficit back here, which created a very large boom. Then we came into some surpluses for a while, and this is the deficit that's coming in front of us. Uh, we have a massive deficit that's coming in front of us. And I think prices are going to react quite favorably uh, in our uh, commodity uranium. So not only do we have a, a downtrend line breakout here, we can verify that the market balance is also signaling that we're going to have increased pricing pressure to the upside right in front of us and we've got the uranium price here you can see this thing is bottomed it's starting to come back up we broke through this resistance area we're now using it as support it's about 40 dollars or so we've been kind of zigzagging above it the past few weeks but i think this is a great spot to look at it now looking at urnm this is an etf that i follow it's got a lot of mining uranium mining companies in it. We've been playing with this resistance line for a while here. Uh, we've been playing in the early 2021. We came back up, we hit it again in September, and we've been riding along it for the past couple of weeks. Looking at the daily candlesticks to see if we can get any more clues, what's happening is we've got big buying pressure all coming through here, smaller selling pressure. Big buying pressure, less selling pressure. Big buying pressure, less selling pressure. We're basically forming a pattern here. Oops, hit the wrong thing there. We are forming a pattern that is, here, let me, let me, let me throw it in uh, this guy here. We're forming a pattern that is coming right through here. So there's the line there, and here's the line coming on up. We could still go sideways a little bit longer, but we're, we're forming this, this, this pattern that we're about to break. And why do I think we're going to break it to the upside? Uh, we have higher lows stepping up into it. I mean, it could break to the downside here and we could uh, come on back a little bit. But I, I don't know if that's necessarily going to be the case uh, with these higher lows coming in and all the buzz. I think we are resting a little bit longer before a break higher is my guess. But it looks really good. Uh, Overall, I like the big buying pressure and the small selling pressure uh, all through here, which is usually typically wants to break to the upside when I see this type of um, setup. If you notice on the downtrend line here, we've got lots more selling pressure than buying pressure. You can see on the pullback and then it changed this day here with the bullish engulfing and how that changed and, and eventually led to an upside move. So everything looks good, I think, for a continuation upward. Now we're going to look at some of the individual companies. I threw some some lines in here on some of them, uh, but we're seeing this this resistance line through a lot of the charts, and we're we're coming up through here, and we've got small selling pressure in here, big buying pressure, small selling pressure. I think we're going to take a run at this line and try to break it next week. 
That's what it looks like to me. And we're seeing that in all of these companies, these small little selling pressure, big buying pressure and small selling pressure. And when you get that 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 in that difference there, I, I usually see that in a lot of the companies that are wanting to move higher. And what I just want to draw it real quick. It's the big buying pressure candlesticks that go up like this. And then you can see that I'm putting the closing and opening prices closer together. And then these are selling candlesticks like this where it comes back. That there means something. Here's the up days. And usually this resolves its way itself upward. So what I'm doing is I'm looking at the candlesticks if they're bigger buying pressure, which is the bigger candlesticks here versus the small down candlesticks. This usually, uh, if you were to put a bunch of these in a row, is the pattern that it makes when it goes upward. And when you look at this, you can see that pattern of large candlesticks and small sell-offs all through here. Uh, we are compressing up into an area where we're gonna break at some, some point here shortly. I'm thinking that it's gonna break to the upward move, but it could break to the downside just to be prepared. Uh, and remember, I'm not trading this, I'm not trading in and out, I'm just holding on and riding it higher. This one is also coming up into a, a selling pressure zone up above, above 92, 93 cents. We have a bullish engulfing right here a couple days before it and a bullish piercing. Uh, what that means is it's ready to try to break this to the upside, I think. It's, it's, it's aligning itself to move to the upside. And we're seeing more bull, you know, bullish engulfing here as well, uh, ready to break to the upside with the resistance at 64 cents or so. All these patterns are roughly the same. We've got lots of resistance up here at 60 cents. We're coming up with higher uh, lows and we're coming right into that resistance and it's about to break it at some point here, I think over the next week or two. Here's uh, base load energy. What do you see? You have a lead in, you have a cup and handle a uh, continuation pattern and that handles scribing out right now. Uh, this is the, the projected move would be from like 32 cents to a, a dollar five or something like that it'd be the size of this projected on top of it going upward we have a, a law the move could be quite large in base load if it breaks this cup and handle pattern so that looks good uh here's pure point pure point we've got some resistance up here at about about right where it's at uh this nice resistance area coming through here but the lows are stepping up into that resistance uh so we're gonna probably break this thing and and absolutely uh, just destroy it here uh, in a good way here's that resistance that i'm talking about and there's the higher lows and see how we're coming right into the corner here uh, what what that's doing is it's it's basically coming into uh, an area where all of this force and pressure is building right here and i think it's going to break to the upside and you'll see a very large move to the upside probably in a day or two uh, in terms of the the the, the, the time span where this thing, all this built up pressure is coming right to this tip and then it breaks. So it's coming guys, <clears throat> locked and loaded, ready for this move. Uh, standard uranium, it's got some selling pressure up here. That's where we got this reversal candlestick. We do have higher lows stepping in. It could drop down to this area in here before moving on up. But see these lows, they're all stepping higher through here. And then we're coming up into this pressure of selling pressure up here. Man, this looks good, guys. It's it's developing very well. This one already broke its its downtrend or the pattern here, and we broke to the upside. Small selling pressure. The the sellers aren't they're not pushing these things lower. Uh, so what I would do, I wouldn't do anything. I just hold the shares and ride this stuff higher. Ride it higher and let let it make you money. Uh, here's Fission 3.0. This one broke to the upside. Looks fantastic on a big long term perspective chart. And maybe I should have put it in here, but it broke a big downtrend coming through here, and now we're starting to run. So this has a, has a good amount of, of room to run. Would I buy it way up here? I don't know. I don't know if I would, but <clears throat> I bought I bought some in here at twelve cents when uh, when we were looking at those other daily technical analysis updates. This one looks really good. Azen Court. It's a small uranium exploration company. Downtrend lines broken to the upside. We're just cycling back and forth. We are creating another pattern 
uh, here just to show you kind of what this looks like is here's the pattern that we're creating it's right there and we're going to break this thing to, probably to the upside and, and move all over the place this is the other pattern that we broke downtrend you break the downtrend you come back this is a higher low and then we got to break this to make a higher high it's a new uptrend or i should say a continuation it's a it's an uptrend from this downtrend move here but we're looking like we're gonna we're gonna move to the upside here looks fantastic UEXCF has the same thing. You could even say this is kind of almost like a cup and handle type deal. There's resistance up here in the 42, 43, 44 cent, 45 cent range. We're trying to break through it. The lows are stepping right into it to break that. And we're, we're seeing this across the entire sector. This has got the same thing, higher lows, higher highs. That looks fantastic. Energy fuels looks a little bit tired here. It may pull back a day or two to this support $8.50, $9 range. Uh, per share and then take off yeah same with uec maybe getting a little bit tired might want to have a down day or two before moving on up urg i'd same thing we're up against resistance right here uh, the lows are stepping right into it so we're, we're creating a pattern that comes right into it and a break will happen well a break will ensue probably very soon next couple days or two or week uranium royalty corp no no difference here it's all pushing up against this basically where it's at resistance area and the lows are coming right at it so we're gonna we're gonna break this thing and it can it can move quite substantially encore energy same thing higher lows the the highs have st been stuck here at like a dollar 60 something here a lot of selling pressure dollar 70 that we're gonna come up and and break into it bannerman 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 the start of the african companies uh, this thing's looking good. Small selling pressure, big buying pressure. I think this is going to continue higher in this stair-stepping type pattern. Uh, Deep yellow is the same thing. I'll do a drawing on this one here, show you guys. And they're all roughly the same. Um, here's your the pattern that I'm seeing here. And what we're going to do very soon is break this to the upside, I hope. The lead-in is usually where you... So if you lead in from the bottom, it's a flag pattern. It comes in, it, it coils up, and then we break. So that looks good. So that's deep yellow, D-Y-L-L-F. Uh, we're seeing the same thing in Forces Metals drawn out. Uh, with Forces Metals, man, this thing, guys, we are, we are lucky to have this technology and share this stuff. I mean, this is, or I'll put this. This is, a, this is, this is broken, guys. Like, this is good to go. <laughs> Uh, right here and it's got a hammer pattern so we broke this pattern it's going to re resolve upward uh and if you zoom in on this guy here that's a hammer pattern right here where it hit the bottom of the pattern i think this is going to resolve upward right now like very very soon we'll probably see a very large move out of forces metals uh coming up soon uh and here's goviax goviax is doing the same thing it's trying to break through this resistance area up here lots of sellers the the sellers sell it off, but they're 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 becoming less and less effective selling it off from this resistance level. And all they can muster are these two little down days. This thing's going to resolve upward probably very soon with a big up day. Uh, same with Global Atomic. Global Atomic is uh, has it has the same same pressures, guys. I mean, there it is, there it is. We've got selling pressure that is just anemic here i mean look, look at this pressure down here it's nothing this is all they can muster the sellers this thing's going to break to the upside so be ready for a big move maybe monday maybe tuesday it's very soon laramide's doing the same thing all of these are doing the same thing when you look at all of them uh international consolidated uranium has a little more selling pressure up here kind of kind of different but i i highly doubt that it's going to it's going to resolve upward just like the rest of the sector uh, Peninsula Energy, big buying pressure, small selling pressure. It's going to resolve itself upward. Uh, uh, Kazetum Prom, big buying pressure, small selling pressure. Again, these all look fantastic for a continuation move upward. Uh, Centris has a little bit more selling pressure, a little bit of a toppy, more of a toppy pattern. Uh, this could pull back a little bit before moving on up. Big, big uh, breakout here of this area there. Boss Energy. 
this looks fantastic. We've got all of the the conditions here of the small sell-offs, the big buying pressure, small sell-off, big buying pressure, small sell-off. It's it, it's coming to a point here where we're going to break. Uh, hopefully, we break to the upside, and that's that's what I suspect. Western Uranium and Vanadium Corp. Again, I'm just going to draw on it so you guys can see what I see. And I can blow through these charts very, very quickly uh, just because when you see them so much, you can see these patterns develop. And there's your pattern developing. And then when you look inside of the pattern, you see these, these big buying pressure updates with the small sell-off. Big buying pressure updates, small sell-off. This is probably going to resolve upward. That's, I mean, remember, this is all statistical probability. It's not for sure outcomes. Oh, and that's the last one. Uh, so that's what I see in the uranium sector. Uh, very good uh, chart patterns, big buying pressure, small selling pressure. Usually that resolves itself to the upside. Uh, we see these patterns that are developing. They're about to break these patterns. We're right up on resistance for the weeklies on URNM. We're bumping our head on it, trying to break through. And every time we bump our head, we're looking at the pullback off of that resistance. So if the resistance line's here, we hit it, we pull back. The next time we hit it, it pulls back less. Then we hit it again and it pulled back less. There's less and less selling pressure as we hit this resistance line. What we're doing is we're we're like hurting all of the bulls together and we're going to break through this resistance line I think very soon. And um, what that means is that we could potentially go up at a steeper curve than where we have been doing recently. So the resistance line could be coming up like this, and now the new resistance line goes up at a steeper rate, which means these companies are going to go up faster, potentially. Not 100% sure, but potentially that's what could happen. If you guys like this type of analysis, give me a thumbs up. Uh, put in the comment section any comments that you guys have, and let me know what, what's going on. If you like if you like it, subscribe, uh, But th and thanks for viewing it. This is Finding Value.